Hey everybody, it's uh, October 4th. This is my first time out bow hunting for the year. And my wife is running the camera. She's being all goofy, so. But uh, I'm sitting in a stand. It's on the south end of the property. I'm only about 40 yards off the Green River. And this sets up perfect for a north, north wind. It blows your wind straight over across the river. And that's where the deer definitely are not gonna be. And we're sitting right along the edge of a field. And generally the deer come out of the timber just to the north of us. And we've got a, about a one acre clover food pot to the north of us that I can just see the corner of it. So I won't be able to see the deer when they're out in the middle of it, but if they come out to the far edge of it, I can see them. But a lot of times they'll come out just to the north of us and kind of feed right along the edge of the beans and then work their way along this edge. And usually they'll get a little bite of clover too before they come this direction. So I'm just gonna enjoy the evening, enjoy my wife's company. Probably won't shoot a doe. We're just kind of out here to just have some fun and just observe wildlife and have a good time. Ready? seem to not move near as much as when it's dead calm because when it's dead calm like this it kind of puts them on high alert because they can hear every stick break and every leaf crunch underneath of them so they're always looking around for what's making noise that they're hearing but uh I'm just gonna keep sitting here and see what we see hopefully we'll at least see one deer sometimes she has a little bit of action so she doesn't get too bored at least hopefully she'll want to go back out again Uh, I just got back to the house here and uh, it got too dark there to do an interview in the stand and we had deer close to us but I had a pretty eventful night. We ended up seeing that doe and two fawns that come by and then we had another doe and another fawn come through. They come out of the timber just to the north of us but Tanya couldn't get the camera on them just because it was low light and there's a lot of branches and stuff in the way. but. We could see them through the trees, so had a good night and seen a bunch of turkeys, heard some owls hooting and a bunch of wildlife running around and next two days it sounds like it's going to be raining, so probably won't be getting in the stand, probably be staying home and trying to get caught up on some work stuff and 
Then after this rain goes through the next two days, it sounds like Saturday is really going to cool down. It's going to be highs in <clears throat> like the upper 60s and then uh, the wind's supposed to switch out of the west-southwest, which is good for a stand that was just to the north of where we're at tonight, right on the edge of that clover pot. So we'll uh, hopefully see it here in a couple days and give you another update.